All right, everybody. Well, uh, this is my first attempt at making a video like this, so bear with me. Uh, I just want to introduce you all to Jack Vaniels. 1965-21 window. Uh, super cool story about how I ended up with him. Uh, he was sitting in a Tennessee field for almost 30 years or so and uh, had no engine, no transaxle, and was sitting on its rear end here. Uh, flew out with the help of an awesome mechanic and uh, we towed it out of there. And so th this is what has uh, happened to it since then. It's now sort of a daily driver. Uh, I do drive it. I've driven it uh, up to Orange, California, to the metal shop where I'm anticipating getting all the work done. Um, I live in North County, San Diego area. So that's that was about an hour and 15 minute drive each way. Drove it just like this, no front door. I'll kind of walk through the uh, major issues on this video and kind of explain what the plans are. If you notice the wheels are in great shape. I knew if I was gonna put new tires on it and have to find some wheels, might as well get that taken care of so it's a uh kind of a ratty bus with brand new wheels that have been powder coated and painted and all that stuff so that's sort of the 360 of it um obviously relatively rusty but solid and uh so we'll just kind of go through some of the major issues and explain kind of what's going on so the bottom hinge in the door is toast uh, this door opens. I don't use it because uh, there's no door over there and it's just easier to slide out. Uh, this is probably the biggest issue, by the way. Um, this B pillar here. Obviously the rockers uh, are pretty toast as well. I'll give you a shot of the belly pans as well. They did a, uh, a rust preventative deal um, on it when they restored it in the 80s. So just to give you a little info, what we got going on here, that's rusted off the bottom of the door there. Uh, obviously that all needs just a little attention, right? So uh, I have new front doors that I got um, off the Samba. So I'm not gonna be using these doors. Um, the dog legs. Gonna need some love. Those are gonna have to be done. Floors are toast. Um, not horrible. The other side's worse. We'll get there in a minute. This is sort of the, uh, what we got going on here on the inside. Still got the fuel gauge. Um, the instrument cluster works. It's still got a couple issues. The turn signals don't light up. The uh, previous owner had a handmade wooden radio blocking plate that's still there the clock still there doesn't work but we'll work with that uh, the front seats are here obviously not in great condition but that's easy um, there is a relatively good hole down here where the spare tire is supposed to be kept that'll get addressed um, I've since Put in a new fuse box um, and whole wiring harness so everything can work. So I could drive her around with uh, brake lights, turn signals, headlights, all that fun stuff. So that was actually much easier than I expected. Uh, I think the original front windows are here. They're all bubbled up. I'm debating on keeping them like that. I think it's kind of cool that uh, they're original and it kind of shows a little bit of the age here. I mean, I'm going to restore this thing to pretty nice condition, but I think that's kind of a small thing that I could maybe leave. I don't really know yet. Uh, you can see remnants of the shag carpeting here that was completely on every panel that could possibly be covered. It was uh, like a yellowish green shag, and I'll show you some videos of when we got that, uh, pulled it out of the woods there in Tennessee. So that uh, that was video and that whole experience is pretty phenomenal. Uh, so that's it here for this kind of door. We'll give you a, a 
nice good look at what we got going on here. Just toast. But, you know, all in all, it's not that bad. I don't think it's bad. Belly pans, obviously have a couple issues, but really, for where it was, how it was sitting, not horrible. Uh, frame, no rust that we really have noticed. So, I uh, bought a new transaxle from Rancho. It's a freeway flyer that's installed, so that's phenomenal. But, um, you know, looks pretty good. Jack points, okay. But, I mean, everything's gonna get taken care of um, in time. Just waiting on the availability for space. So you can see that's the inside of the cabin there, a the little rubber floor mat. So that's that side. Um, it's got all of the windows. The windows on top, all of them are the original secure it. Let's see if we can get it. Maybe, there you are. Yeah, it's upside down and maybe backwards. I don't know. But though they're all there, they're all original. Uh, this, if you'll notice, if I can get the right angle, there's a kind of a bulge there. At some point in time, there was a issue with focus uh, on the road when the guy was driving, the previous owner was driving this, uh, I think cross country a long time ago. He got cut off something along those lines and ended up getting into a little bit of a collision and put the bus on this side. So it landed on the driver's side. And so this needs a little bit of love. There's a little bit of creasing here. Um, and then as you can see here, it's all just not quite perfect. So we're gonna have to have the metal guys work with that. Um, other than that, this side is not bad at all. I mean, pretty straight. I think, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep or replace this whole panel, but uh, it looks okay. Windows are there, some of them pop out, but they're all super crusty from sitting outside forever. Tops there, it, uh, you know, it's old and you can see right in it. So there was a sh piece of sheet metal that was screwed into the top. Um, if I could find all the little holes that we had to unscrew. Um, anyways, there's a bunch of random holes in the roof now that we're gonna have to address, but the top is there so we can use all that material. Pretty awesome. It's a little bit concave here um, from the bus going on its side also. Uh, I've got the deluxe bars still on there. Um, back corner obviously had a little work done. Uh, not great, but pulled out. I'm sure this whole panel will get taken care of. So this is what it was sitting on. Uh, it was pretty much about an inch and a half, two inches in the dirt. Um, so it's not rust. I mean, it's going to get replaced, but it's just not holy, you know. Uh, to the back. Got your Instagram logo on the back, just so people know where to find me in case they want to. Got black and yellow plates assigned to the, the bus, so that'll be cool when it's all done. I was able to find a um, the guy I bought couple tires from or not tires wheels from on uh, the Samba he I asked him if he had a running engine and so he I think for 700 bucks he delivered the uh, engine uh, with the, the wheels as well the wheels were another, you know 100 bucks or so but this runs and drives uh, I had the mechanic in uh, Red Bank Tennessee just outside Chattanooga uh, Rick at automotive Artife artifacts it was phenomenal and uh, did all the work for me. I told him I wanted this bus running and driving in uh, California with, on a certain deadline and he did it, uh, no questions asked, and he was awesome. So if you're in Chattanooga, you need a VW guy, 
go find Rick. Uh, battery tray, obviously toast. Well, some of you guys might uh, have some opinions on how things are done, but uh, in the meantime, this works. It's not meant to be perfect yet. Uh, I do drive it like this. I know it doesn't properly get hot air or get, get fresh air as it's supposed to the hot air that's coming off the exhaust. Yeah, I know, but the all the, the metal I have to put back on this, I'd have to get a new exhaust system. This engine is not going to stay with the bus. I'm going to get buy a new one. Uh, this is just for the time being. I wanted to be able to drive it until it was restored, which is what I do, and it puts a smile on my face, which is the important part. I got a bunch of tools and crap back here, but this is all pretty good. No issues with rust, minus a couple of like, small things there that'll get fixed. So that's all here. And uh, so that's sort of looking in the bus. I, I was able to find a matching, not that it mattered, but uh, a, a middle uh, seat and a rear seat that were specific to this bus uh, I, I think it was Facebook uh, goes by Rusty Shark Automotive on Instagram he's a good dude uh, hooked me up with both seats so now I have the complete setup for the bus and I have a del deluxe bar to put on here but as you can tell it has the, the spot for it so this is the proper seat and the brackets for the rear seat I just don't have those in yet this window had a like a BB hole in it, which progressively got worse. So I put a little packing tape on it to keep it as sealed as possible so we don't get glass everywhere. Um, this is nice, right? No major rust. It works, it seals. New tail lights, thanks to Wolfsburg West. Like the majority of the parts that I get, because they're just about an hour drive away keep going here uh, obviously there's no deluxe trim on it like there should be but there will be and there's the uh, other corner not horrible shape it's a little dented a little banged in but it'll all get replaced I do anticipate on spending a decent amount of money though I'm open for some painting recommendations in the area of Southern California. If anybody knows anybody that's reasonably priced for a pretty good job, I don't need anything crazy. So, not bad. Not, you know, a little wonky here. Uh, I talked with the metal guys. I plan on having uh, do all the metal work, which is Washburn's metal up in uh, orange. And they were sort of on the fence of, you know, once they get everything blasted, they're going to see if they want to replace the whole top or not, based upon the condition. And I'll show you once we get inside, there are some issues, obviously. So, here we are, more, you know, rocker issues. Cargo doors are okay, they'll probably get uh, lower six inches done. see the drip rail here a little uh, jacked up that we can just a quick peek inside this is the uh, original engine for this thing and that uh, the previous owner was able to pull out of the dirt behind his house that he lived in many many years ago I think he bought this brand new or not new he bought this in uh, oof, early 70s, maybe late 60s, um, the bus for like 595. I actually have a receipt for that, which is amazing. So this is the original engine that he pulled out of it. Um, so floors obviously need some love. No surprise, but you know they're actually not as bad as you would expect them to be, or that I expect them to be. To be. So they'll all get replaced. I'll get new interior, all that fun stuff. Uh, for the uh, M code plate, this did have a full size middle uh, seat with the fold down, so it was absolutely epic that I was able to find that. Uh, just to explain some 
of the issues here. So this is one of my bigger concerns, which is the drip rail there um, with the top. So I don't know how they're going to work their magic and fix all that, but you know, that's, that's them. So this is just kind of the before uh, aspect in terms of how bad this thing was and what, you know, what we're looking at. I mean, I love this thing. I, uh, it's just, it's a gem to me. I can't believe I actually bought it. Uh, maybe I'll make a video explaining the whole story. It's a long story, but uh, I, I typed it up and I'm already at like nine pages just because I wanted to document it. Very, yeah, I was very, very fortunate. The uh, the guy who owned the bus was a very kind, nice individual. Uh, it took me about a year and a half to buy it, uh, but it all worked out. And I think he's happy that it ended up in my hands and we're gonna do our best to take care of this thing. The, uh, you know, the rails over here aren't as bad, still some issues, but it's complete. And there's our nice little shattered window. Go through here and just kind of, so these doors aren't bad. They actually work and close, which is impressive. Uh, we'll show you that. Again, belly pans, not like really, really bad. Though not great. Still gonna get replaced with all the floors. And other dog leg area, all gonna get replaced. My toast. The mat is there just to prevent us from falling through. Safety first, right? I've always said that. And it's just super toast. This door uh, was actually where the collision happened where it ended up on its side. Um, so this door was completely dented in and it never really closed. So we basically just wiggled it a little bit and it rusted right off of the hinges. So we're gonna have to get that taken care of. I've done my best with an impact driver to try to get these hinges off to put the other doors on and they're not moving. So I'm gonna let the pros handle their business. And uh, get those out so that way I don't screw up the threads, screw up the, um, you know, screws, any of that stuff. But to have a uh, 21 window in Southern California is pretty phenomenal. So I could care less that there's no door at the moment. It's kind of fun. Though the uh, girlfriend gets a little uh, weirded out on hard left hand turns. I don't know why. That's sort of the extent of uh, Jack, appropriately named, obviously being in Tennessee. So thanks to our friends, Tony and Leanna, who came up with that. This is also a little, you know, dented in, needs a little love, but I was assured all of that can be taken care of. I've got a front deluxe bumper still, need the overrider. I was able to find a um, good rear deluxe uh, that's actually in very, very good shape. It'll need some love uh, in terms of uh, painting it and just getting it perfectly straight, but I have it. Uh, you can see, I think these are the uh, appropriate windows for the year. They had safety glass, right? So I think that's, that's good. VW Locos on both. Windshield wipers don't work, but I'll manage. It doesn't rain a whole ton here anyways. So I think that's it. Um, I guess just to show. Hmm, fires right up. Runs and drives great. But the steering box, not so great. A little loose. 
Anywho, that's my uh, intro video. And as I do stuff, I will do my best to sort of document it to the best of my ability, which isn't very good. But this is Jack. Now you've basically seen, uh, seen his 360 and know what we're working with. All right, later.